racing. Well, it's kind of hard to hear us in here, but what you got going on, Bob? Uh, connecting some wires with some zip ties. Huh? Connecting some wires with some zip ties. What are we hooking up? Blower. Uh, Mr. Jason got me a Christmas. Yeah, Mr. Jason, nicest at nicest motorsports. Got tied on a helmet blower. Uh, we mounting it right now. As you see, the All Star helmet blower. Matt came over and kind of helped us figure out where to mount it, which kind of had an idea, but he's better at all that than me. And we just couldn't do any video until it's been raining so much. You can't even uh can't even hear yourself in here. But it slacked off for a minute. We just got it all wired in, and uh, Talon's cleaning up some of the wiring in there. We did uh, talk to Jody yesterday at J&J. &J. He got our tube and bell that was on the rear end when we had the wreck, had it checked, the tube and the bell was bent. So uh, he's got a new one on the way. I know, I think Franklin's, maybe he said like in Pennsylvania or something. So it's gonna probably be at least three or four days before we get it. So looking like the end of the week or first of next week uh, before we even get it and get it put back together. So not looking like we'll be ready for this weekend to go practice anywhere. So it looks like our first laps will be competitive laps, huh, Talon? Yes, sir. That's what it's looking like. So anyway, that's the status on the on the uh, rear end, we're just we're just gonna finish up everything we can, and should be the rear end be the only thing left to do when it gets to that point. But uh, we getting it. It's supposed to rain most of the week. Uh, we are going to meet Chase. I think Wednesday evening to bring him his portion of the tires from the from uh, Jason, and then uh, as far as I know. That's it right now, but uh, we'll catch up with y'all after a while. What's happening? It's Tuesday evening. Uh, we back out here in the shop. Talon's taking the nose off. We got some minor bumper damage. Right there, as y'all can see, it's bent. But really, the only way to try to fix it is to get the nose off. But got the motor home posted, getting a decent amount of interest in it. But you know, it's just got to be something somebody's looking for. But <clears throat> anyway, what else we got done? Got the dry shaft ready to do it. Got, uh, I don't know what else we got done today. What else we got done, Bob? Uh, I can't think. So. Adjusted on the carburetor. Yeah. I had to work in the motor in the new motor home a little bit. Uh, but other than that, we fixing the gears and stuff. The yeah, Talon's been organizing a little bit of stuff, but uh, he's fired up and ready to work every day. He's out here, but that's what it takes. I don't think we're getting the new bell and tube until like Thursday or Friday. So no plans to race this weekend. We wanted to do something, but I don't. Really do it. I don't think we're going to get to so anyway that gives us a little bit more time but when we hit the track we get it's game time it ain't no test so tomorrow we're going to meet chase holland bringing him 20 tires we're going to meet him around baton rouge about halfway for both of us about a little over two hours for both of us but anyway we'll catch up with y'all in a bit Fabricators, that's for sure. But we did get the bumper patched. 
Uh, we we got yeah, we got it where to hold the nose up anyway. Old school, though, I guess yeah. you could say. So we got straightened and tacked and tried to fill holes. But anyway, we got we got the bumper back on it. I think good enough to hold the nose. We're actually going to be racing in the Black Diamond area. Yeah, first uh, weekend. First weekend. So we're probably going to pick up a bumper or two Maybe while we're there. So uh, anyway, we got Talon's new seat a month or so ago, and we had never took the time to put it in. So probably fixing to tackle that. And uh, they yeah, may put the new bird cages and stuff on the rear end. We can do that too on the left side. Yeah. But we're going to. Maybe tackle this seat, and uh, we'll put it on time lapse again, though, and let y'all follow along. Well, what's going on? It's Wednesday. Just got home from church. We were supposed to go meet Chase Holland this evening, but the weather was real bad here about daylight, and I, they caught it up, I guess, around midday or something, and had a lot of road closures and stuff, so we weren't able to meet. Anyway, we just got home. I ain't gonna lie, Talon's about to work me to death. Most time, if I'm telling him, son, we need to go to the shop. We got stuff's gonna back up on us. We need to go to the shop. Now, he's at the shop. I'm trying to back out on him, but. What you got going tonight, bro? Why did I put a valve stem in? You just put your first valve stem in. What? That, that, Without I daddy. I had to watch the video on YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, we mounting up some tires. These are some wheels we bought. Uh, I bought these. Well, uh, Chad, uh, there was a business had a fire or something in Texas and had some wheels. They were just trying to clean out their inventory. They're new wheels, brand new, but uh, got a pretty good deal on them. So we got them. Can't ever have too many wheels. We just. Our tire rack and our trailer won't hold many, but I only hold four. Yeah, four. But anyway, we're gonna get to work and probably be a short night. We've got school and work, and it's already like nine o'clock. But luckily, we had a school thing. Yeah, which I didn't do anything. But yeah, we'll see y'all in a bit. What's up? It's uh, like probably about four forty-five. I mean, three forty-five, four o'clock. I uh, just got out of school. Dad, he is going to meet Chase Holland with all his tires. I decided not to go uh, with him so I can get some tires done, grooving them um, and all that. Uh, Dad took the tire or some of the tires that we didn't have time to pop out last night to uh, recharge the tire. They got them popped out for us. Dad dropped them back off before he left, picked up Chase's tires and headed out. <clears throat> I don't know what time he left, but uh, I just got out of school, so... I'm about to uh, groove and cut all these tires. It's uh, seven of them. So I got a lot of them to do. And I think we still got maybe one or two more left after that. But uh, come on from school and uh, I, I wouldn't, I mean, it's kind of bad news, but it's not at the same time. But uh, Dad, I think Dad talked to Mr. Jody at J&J &J, uh, earlier and uh, the rear end all the rear end stuff that we need it's still uh i don't really know where you ordered it from but i know it's still in pennsylvania i think it was supposed to ship out today today's thursday so not mr jody's fault just uh kind of just bad deal uh just didn't get shipped out faster we figured they'd be in the day or tomorrow but not really anybody's fault just kind of slow but uh i figure we'll get that back monday or tuesday and have to work all week and fast but uh first race will be april 19th but uh we'll be ready i'm sure but got a lot of work to do I'm about to uh air up these tires start grooving them and check the stagger and all that and basically kind of have the tires ready to go other than uh i don't know i might grind them tonight or not i don't really know yet but uh dad he'll be home i don't know probably around seven eight o'clock but i know he was meeting chase they were we were swapping some t-shirts out with them he was getting his tires and all that, but uh, ready to go here. Dad's gone, but I'm about to do some work and I'll put you on time lapse.
happening. It's Friday night about, what did Mama say, 9.45? 10.15. About 10.15. Uh, we just come out to the shop. Well, I've been kind of out here all day. I've been working on the motorhome. Carrie's finishing up some painting. I had to uh, drain that fresh water tank just to put some clean water in it. Talon, we watched the Hunt the Front series late model race tonight, so we're kind of getting a late start out here. But I do have the bird cage and all on the left rear. I'll have to take the hub and all back off, and I got to change bearings. I don't have a seal. But Talon is siphoning and grinding tires. Tires, 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 huh, Bob? Yeah. Uh, we just, we thankful to have them, that's for sure. We got to thank Jason at Nicest Motorsports for, for all he does and uh, all everybody does. Talon's got a lot of good sponsors this year. But we did track the right rear uh, tube and bell. It will not be here until Wednesday of next week. So, what's that mean, Talon? We're going to have, I know that's probably not a lot to some, but I've never like drilled and tapped and all that for that, uh, for the brake uh, caliper bracket. I got to do all that. I got to, I'm hoping they're supposed to put the tube in the bell and have that already drilled and tapped and bolted in from Franklin. So if they don't do that, that'll be even longer, but hopefully they, they did that. Uh, so that's gonna kind of have us at a crunch. We don't, we won't get it till Wednesday when I get off work. We'll have church that night. So, I'm, yeah, I may take off Thursday and work on it while Talon's in school, and hopefully I could have it done by the time he gets out of school. Uh, I could, uh, he could help me put the rear end in. Which the cars basically are mostly ready. Other yeah, other than the, the body end. and the well, rear end. We'll probably have it in the car itself done Friday morning. Huh? Yeah, but we're not putting the body on until we get the rear end on. It's just so much easier working back there without the deck and, and the body on. But uh, So that's it right now. Just tires and working on the rear end a little bit. Going to stand it up and get this other tube and bell off. Oh, the seat. We That's another thing. We got to mount the seat. I hate doing that because I'm I'm no fabricator, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. If it does get to seem too bad, we'll just throw his old seat back in it for the weekend if it looks like we're going to run out of time. But that's it for now. So uh, I guess we'll catch up with y'all probably not till maybe next week, and uh, or if we work on it a little bit tomorrow. Tell them you fired up and ready to go. Tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. Oh, we did talk to Fox Shocks, uh, hoping that they're going to get the shocks ready Monday, ship out Monday evening. We should have by Thursday, if, if that's the case. If not, we're going to have to sweet talk old Robert and the loanest that owns the 955 loaning us his spare set of shocks. We, like I said, we don't have any spare shocks as of now uh, but try to win a little money and get us some but we'll catch up with y'all after a while i guess or or tomorrow or something like that so we'll see y'all well it's monday about five o'clock uh just got home from work earlier and talent's getting the car cleaned up we hadn't even got to wash it since that wreck He's got all the body over there washed, but uh, getting the car cleaned up. Callum, what you doing? Washing. Uh, hadn't done a whole, whole lot over the weekend. Callum got the tires done. Uh, what else we got? The uh, kind of got the seat mocked up. I don't know if we're going to run out of time on it or not. Got uh talked to fox shocks today they shipped the shocks out today so should have the shocks thursday so that's cutting it close but uh right front was 
body was punctured, it was leaking oil, so I think that's pretty much gonna be a new rebuild almost. And then the right rear had a bent shaft. Uh, the bell and tube is still on track to be here Wednesday, so car is pretty much ready to go other than put the rear end in it and put the rear deck and body on it, but uh, here's the rear end. I got all the left rear stuff on and in place. Had to get a new chain limiter here. Uh, new bird cage. So, all we're waiting on is this tube and bell. I've, I've already decided if uh, it don't come in, we're just gonna have to run the bent one. Like, we got a race, but it's gonna come in. Who we got here? Mom and Holly. Holly. Who is gonna be 17 tomorrow? Is tomorrow it's your you. birthday? It's you. Is tomorrow your birthday? No way. Is it your birthday tomorrow? What you want for your birthday? Huh? Tell him an old Cadillac. An old Cadillac. Like we used to have? Convertible. But we can't have Cadillacs. Bubba's got race cars. Say, well, it was worth a shot. Yeah. We could have. I used to have an old... 68 Cadillac and she likes to put miles on it. During COVID, we uh, would put some miles on it. Yeah, that's fine. But tomorrow over birthday, it'll be 17. But we'll catch up with y'all after a while. She gone. What's happening? It is, uh, what's today, Tuesday? Tuesday, it's Hallie's birthday. Yep. Your sister's 17 today. I can't believe our firstborn is 17. Uh, hopefully she's had a good day. Seems like she has. Gonna have a few people come over this evening and eat some cake with her. And me and Talon's coming to get about an hour in the shop before all that takes place. What did we get in today, son? Got our parts. Man. We got a bill and two men from Franklin. Yeah, uh, here she is, brand new. Probably should have went this route to begin with, but I uh, was trying to get a used one, save some money, and it just ended up costing us some time. But uh, we're gonna get this bell and tube off, and then that, we may be out of time before uh, we eat for Hallie's birthday, but it actually came in a day earlier than it was supposed to. So that's, so that's a plus. We didn't think we'd get it till tomorrow. Got church tomorrow, be crunched for time, but we're getting close. Uh, we're going to plan, be planning on racing Friday at Sabine, Saturday at Boo Hill. The weather does not look good for Saturday. I think we'll get Friday in, but not so sure about Saturday. Uh, even looked at why not and some more places that but everything looks like rain Saturday But anyway, we're gonna We're gonna get on this rear end and get this other bell and tube off and uh, We have to drill and tap here for the brake bracket never done that, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad We'll we'll get it figured out Luckily they already had that. Yeah, they did Jody and J and J we have to thank him, but they he did have them put the tube inside the bell and drill and tap it. So all we got to do is bolt it on and do the brake bracket, put the bird cages on, set them. But anyway, we're gonna get on it. We'll, uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit.
what's happening. Uh, still Tuesday night. Just come out. It's probably nine o'clock. Just got done doing Hallie's little birthday. Had some family over, and uh, Talon didn't come back out. He's got he's testing this week. I think leap testing started today, so he's got to get in bed early every night this week. But right before we went in for her birthday, we did get. I don't know if you can see it, the brake caliper bracket holes drilled and tapped. So that is done. It was uh, wasn't too bad, a little bit to it, getting it set in the right position, and uh, but we got it. So anyway, I'm fixing to pull the tube and bail back off. I only got a couple bolts in it, clean everything out, clean all the metal shavings out, and. Uh, That'll probably be all I do tonight. Tomorrow, before church, uh, we'll get it back on, put the bird cages and stuff on, and get it ready to go back in the car. So uh, that's it for tonight. Y'all uh, wish Hallie, Hallie a happy 17th birthday, and uh, that'll be it for tonight. We'll see y'all. What's happening? It's Wednesday evening. Uh, we just got out to the shop and we are about to go to work on the rear end. As y'all seen, got it to the bell on, got the uh, brake caliper brackets drilled and tapped, got the tube cleaned out. So me and, Lane, uh, me and Talon is about to put the bird cages and all on. And then I think Lane's coming after a while and we're gonna put this rear end under the car. But we'll, uh, we'll catch up with y'all in a little while. See ya. What's happening? It is uh, Wednesday night about 10, 15. Uh, Lane and Aaron come over to help tonight. Was a huge help. Uh, it was just gonna be me and Talon, but Lane and uh, Aaron Allen come by. And we made some headway. Mainly the biggest thing was with that seat we got the new seat in it is fitted for talon and he's ready to try his new seat out but we also got the rear end in i'm gonna go through and double check everything to make sure it was tight because i didn't put everything tight when i first put it in but uh i did go back and tighten that but i'm gonna check it tomorrow i'm gonna pull the hubs off uh, both sides, repack the bearings, change the seals. Uh, but I wanted to get the rear end in and I, I can work on that from there. So I am took off work tomorrow, which will be Thursday, and I'm gonna work on the car and try to button up a lot of the stuff that's gotta be done uh, when Talon gets off school tomorrow. He can help me and we'll try to finish this thing up. We got a, Put it on scale to get the total weight. We have to uh, just go over it, check everything that we done, make sure it's all tied again, load the trailer, load the motor home, and get ready to head out Friday to the races. As far as I know, they are bringing the 955 to Manny Friday, and Talon's gonna make some laps in it. After the races, the shocks should be here tomorrow. And then that's the last thing we're waiting on is the shock. So other than that, everything should be pretty much good to go. We'll, uh, we'll probably catch up with y'all tomorrow and probably close out a video for a race weekend. But uh, thanks for the help. And we will catch up with y'all after a while or tomorrow sometime. What's happening? It is uh, Thursday evening, about 5.30, and we got back up. Lane come to help us again tonight. Tell him what y'all got going on. He's put on the cell phone, so I'm putting on, I, put, uh, I guess you can say, cleaned the uh, decking together a while ago, and now I'm putting the spoiler on. Got the decking back in, putting the spoiler on. Lane's doing the cell panels. Shocks came in. That was the last piece to the puzzle. So uh, all that 
looks good. Only thing I did find a bent ball joint, but don't have one. Thought I did, but don't. But uh, somebody's bringing one to the track tomorrow. So anyway, uh, that's it. It's starting to look like a race car again. Got all the rear end done. Got the. Uh, I don't know if you don't see. I had to weld. I'm no welder. I've told y'all. I had to weld this bracket right here back in for the underslung. But other than that, it's good. Lane, you ready to go to the races? Where'd he go? Sorry. Where'd he go? Trailer. Oh, he wants some trailer. Talon, you ready for tomorrow? I'm tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. First race with the Gulf, was it? Gulf South. Gulf South Great. Great Lake Model, Model Association. Gulf, Gulf South Crate Lake Model Association. Y'all look them up on uh, Facebook. That is a new series in Louisiana, and we will venture into Mississippi actually next weekend. Uh, I think that's a cool thing. Probably, I'm guessing they're going to average 25, 30 crate cars, so that's that's going to be pretty cool, and everything's the farthest is like three hours away. So. That's going to be our goal this year. I think that's a 14 or 16 race series. Uh, it'll be racing for the next three weeks. After that, it's kind of spaced out. But anyway, we'll catch up with y'all after a while. What's happening? It is Thursday morning, and uh, I took off work today to try to work on the car a little bit. As you see here, I put new bearings, seals, repacked the bearings, cleaned them up. Uh, I mean, greased them, but I don't, uh, it's just me out here today, but I had to show you all this. My buddy Matt showed me on Facebook. I was telling him I got some of that DRP, uh, I don't know what it's called, low drag grease or whatever, but me and Talon, when we done the front end, man, it was hard to get that grease out of the syringe. So he shared this on Facebook with me. Here is the syringe. I actually last time i put a if you can see a turkey based needle in and cut it off at an angle to get it in the bearing but if you put it in this caulk gun it is life changing it was hard hard to press the syringe shaking trying to get it to come out he shared that on facebook with me somebody had seen and i just had to tell y'all that's the way to go put your uh syringe in the caulk gun and use it as you can see here i mean i put it on every one literally two minutes compared to 20 minutes before but anyway i'm fixing to get this uh left side hub and rotor on and uh that'll be then i'm gonna do a bolt check on everything on the rear end and uh go on to the next task but i just had to share that with y'all get you a caught gun with the syringe and it makes life easier thank you matt we'll see you. what's happening it is thursday night about 11 40 and we still getting it uh just feel like we run into problem after problem after problem but we start to make some headway talon aaron wiping the car down talon you're sitting on go um, is it sitting on go? I hope so. I, I mean, we got it as on go as it, I think we did it. Yeah, we still not 100% happy with some of the stuff, but it's coming together. A few little battle scars right here. But. That's not that, That's like war. Yeah, like war. Uh, anyway, we're going to be calling it a night here for too long. Thank God Aaron came, Lane came, Doe came by for a little while. Uh, trying to get this thing knocked out. We're going to head to Sabine tomorrow. We'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Well, Bob, it's midnight, and you got school tomorrow. You going to be able to get up and go? Yep. Uh-huh. I'll be fine. You'll be all right? I probably won't even get any sleep tonight anyway. You excited or you just burn out? A little bit, bud. <laughs> well, here she is.
all put back together. Looking good. I forgot what it looked like, Callum. Yeah, other than the wall rash on this side. They won't be able to see it from the stand, huh? No. All right, well, she's put back together. New seats in, helmet blower. Tell them this thing gonna go down there and turn? I hope so. Huh? I hope so. Me too. It sure does look good. Well, we'll catch y'all tomorrow. We'll see you.